Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child Donksterborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is an extension on the two Drayton Manor videos we uploaded yesterday about the reopening and retheming of Splash Canyon, and also the Wave Swinger attraction opening this year in the G4 site. Now, obviously the Disco Coaster is supposed to be involved in the, in the Wave Swinger investment as well, and we do have some extra details from an inside source. It's the same inside source that reports all those rumors a few months back we spoke about that in that video how you know apocalypse and pandemonium will go uh, we spoke about the rapids reopening we spoke about a new san perla factory coaster in the pirates adventure building uh, we spoke about loads of different stuff a refresh of that splash canyon shockwave area we've got some more details from that inside source of course take it for rumors for now obviously we can't take everything as true uh, so take this as rumors of speculation from my inside source and uh, for now so please take it with a pinch of salt and let's look into all the details that he sent me over so please like comment subscribe click notification bell so you never miss another youtube video uh make sure you also uh, uh click the um subscription bar with the notification bell it's very very important that you do that because uh we're on the road to 4,000 subs and a million views by the end of the year so please make that happen uh also guys tiktok twitter instagram snapchat and discord links all in the description down below and also the google forms link where you can put your your video ideas and content suggestions uh in there as well we'll, we'll pre-record nearly all of them if not all of them in the summer months and for now guys let's have a look at the inside source information extending about the wave swinger the disco coaster and the re theme of splash canyon at drayton manor so the inside source spoke about my video the videos that we uploaded uh yesterday from drayton manor and um basically he's got some more information to share with me so he, he noticed in the video i was speculating on the name of the new wave swinger well uh, he says uh the name of the new uh wave uh, first of all the name of the new uh uh, disco coaster is currently being thrown between two popular names the first being airwave and the other being airbender um, so nothing on the wave swinger name i've got a feeling the wave swinger may use the other one of the names so i think that if airwaves one of them airbender will be another one and i think airbender would be a great name for the disco coaster in my opinion i think airwave would be wonderful for the wave swinger in my opinion uh, now the whole area is getting a re-theme with a total of use of 32 eye-popping colours in the hope of creating a Mad Hatter funhouse area uh, in a well-deserved fresh re-theme of the area. The air race is too expensive to be recoloured and themed to match with more uh, appropriately with its area and subtle changes to Storm Force 10 as well. Uh, the Rapids, which the new name is still undisclosed, so it will receive a brand new name, uh, The new and the new Wave Swinger will open uh, at the end of June, just in time for the summer holidays. Now, obviously I wanted to ask about the, the Rapids name and uh, things like that. And he said, as soon as, as soon as he finds out anything about the new name, I'll be the first to know. So we'll share that uh, in a video in the future. In regards to other areas, this is talking about other Drayton Manor developments that could be happening. Um, he may have assumed wrong about plans for the grass space between Buffalo Coaster and Vertigo. He previously said, and we spoke about it in that rumours video a month ago, he said there's mo li most likely to be a flat ride package settled on the site. However, recently he went into the park and noticed by entrance 2, which is Vertigo, there's red markings on that space leading all the way up to the side tower suite car park. So if you pair this information with the planning permission application of attempting to gain access for work on developments below 82 feet in height, as well as the sheer amount of land space there is on the site, Plus the looping group budget of five million a year, which again we spoke about in that earlier video months ago. I definitely see some kind of statement piece coaster to take on the rivals. So that's the the speak of from the from the inside source. Now they're not saying they're going to get a new coaster year after year, but after, with this new management, but they do expect a near th family thrill flat ride every other year, and perhaps one big coaster on the free Buffalo space just to firmly place them back on the map. And also we think it would do nicely up being on the opposite. Side of shockwave. Um, 
So yeah, very, very interesting. It's 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 definitely very interesting from Drayton Manor. So potentially a new coaster where the Buffalo and Vertigo space is uh, leading up to creating a signature entrance for the park, a second signature entrance for the park. And also the fact that we're seeing this fun Mad Hatter style area where Splash Canyon is, Storm Force 10, Shockwave, uh, the two new rides in action in the action park section on the G4 site, the Wave Stringer and the Disco Coaster, and also the Air Race Refurb as well. So all in all, very exciting indeed for Drayton Manor. So there we go, guys, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at the additional information from Drayton Manor via my inside source. Obviously, we have to, we have to take all this with a pinch of salt. I think a Mad Hatter Funhouse area is very very interesting indeed i think you could do some really cool stuff with it and it would be very exciting um now obviously the re-theme of splash can obviously we don't have the name for this yet according to my inside source so once you can tell me i uh, will tell you all here on the coast shell youtube channel uh but very exciting it's it's very exciting the future of drayton manor um but yeah very ex I'm, I'm really excited about the future of drayton manor especially with everything falling into place and someone actually commented on the one of the drayton manor videos and said it's all falling into place now with apocalypse and pandemonium up for sale correct uh the splash canyon reopening correct um you know, and you know all this work being done correct. The new wave swinger correct, and the disco coaster looks like it's happening as well. I think the disco coaster may open with the wave swinger. We don't know that for sure yet, but uh, I've got a feeling it may open with the wave swinger. Um, but like I said, in terms of those names, Airbender and Airwave. Obviously, Airbender is the same name as Avatar Airbender. It's a disco coaster at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, as well as a coaster at Camel Creek Adventure Park. So. In terms of Airbender, I see that being the Disco Coaster name. And in terms of the Wave Swinger, I see that being called Air Wave. Uh, so very interesting there. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news from Update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Caitlin in the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.